Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the video Using the Terminal, Graph and Less. Today we're going to learn how to analyze a large sequence file using a program called the Terminal. In particular, we're going to focus on two commands, Graph, which we'll use to search and count, and Less, which we'll use to display. To begin, we need to locate the terminal program. On any Macintosh, go to Go, Applications, scroll down to the Utilities folder, and open the terminal. Congratulations, you have entered the matrix. I've taken the liberty here of increasing the text size so that you can see better, and I'm also going to resize the window. The first command that we're going to use today is less, L-E-S-S. -S. Less, as we're going to use it, simply displays the contents of a file. To do that, we type less and then the file name here, or we can drag and drop. Over here, I have a gene that I downloaded from GenBank, and I can simply drag and drop the file into the terminal, and you see here displayed the path and file name. I press return and voila. Up at the top is the identification information from GenBank and down here is the sequence. I can press return to scroll through line by line or I can press space to scroll through a page at a time. When I want to exit the display I press Q which returns me to the command prompt. The next command that we're going to talk about is grep. G-R-E-P. We're going to use grep for two functions today. First, we're going to use grep to search within a sequence. So say I wanted to look for the repeat ATG ATG. I simply type grep ATG ATG and then the file name, which again I'll drag and drop. You see here that it displays three lines of text, each of which contains the repeat ATG ATG. For example, here. I should note that grep will only search within a line, so it won't find a repeat that wraps between two lines in the sequence. Uh, for that, you'll have to use something else. The next thing we want to use grep for is to count something within a sequence file. So using the example from before, we'll type grep dash C, which stands for count, ATG, ATG, then again we'll drag and drop the file name. And this tells us that the repeat ATG, ATG occurs three times within the sequence, which we already knew from here. Likewise, we could search for just how often the codon ATG occurs. Here's a handy little trick. Instead of retyping this entire line, I can simply press the up arrow, which redisplays the last line of text. I can scroll over here, change this to ATG, hit return, and we can see that ATG occurs 66 times within this sequence. That's it for the first video. Just to recap, we've used less to display information within a file. We've used grep to search for and display some sequence or piece of information in a file. And we've also used grep to count the number of times something occurs in a file. In this case, ATG, ATG, or simply ATG. In the next video, we're going to take grep to the next level, and we're going to talk about how we use grep to parse and break down a large file that you would receive from next generation sequencing such as Illumina or Far Cry 4. Thanks for watching and see you then.